another video. Today is our biggest match ever. It's a futsal match day. Today we are playing in the quarter final of the national grand finals. As you guys know, we won the East Division. So today we're playing against a very good team called Portsmouth. If we lose, our season is over. We have only one option. That's to win. If it loses, how gets in zone? There's something that happened. This team is a really good team. They only lost 2 1 to Southampton. It shows that they're good, they're organised, their coach comes with a really good experience. Back, man, back. Obviously, been injured for a while, fractured toe, probably with my feet. I'm back, man. Ramadan, fasting. Still gonna get the win, man. No excuses. Good to be back, man. Good to be back with the boys. Let's be on them. Let's give them hard time. This is our court, this is not their court. We know our court better than anyone else. We've played here, we've won every single match. So we should go there and just dominate the game. Obviously, disappointing result last week, but we're back today. Hopefully, get the win. We've got the league playoffs today. So basically, if we lose now, the season's finished. We cannot lose. Mm -hmm. That's all you need to know. All right, listen, boys. It's as simple as I said it. If we lose today, there's no more futsal this season. It's literally that simple. Based off the Southampton game, I don't know about you, like, I was hurting for about two, three weeks. I, I still literally haven't probably recovered from it fully. I want to annihilate this team. I'm not saying that in an arrogant way. We all know our individual capability, but together we need to beat this team in a strong win. Something that's a statement okay, to bounce back from last week. Okay? I enjoy my futsal, just defend as a team, we attack as a team, we're a unit. We play together, we win together. Do you understand? Yeah. Hands in. One, two, three. So today's lineup for this massive match, we've got Badair starting in goal. At the back, we have got fan favourite Captain Tarek. On the left, we have got myself looking to put in a good performance today. On the right, we've got another fan favourite, the flair man, Felipe. And up top, our top goal scorer this season, Amar. Today's bench is very strong. We've got number nine, 99, sorry, Osama on the bench. We've got number five, target man, Dom. Also, he is back, ladies and gentlemen. We've got Karim on the bench as well as Nez. Let's go. The biggest game of the season, the playoff quarterfinals. But before we get into today's massive match, you guys should know by now that London Movement Futsal Club is sponsored by the greatest football app in the world, OneFootball. As I said, OneFootball is the greatest football app in the world. If you want to know anything to do with live store updates, transfer news, injury updates, Literally anything to do with the world of football is on the One Football app. I've been using One Football a lot recently to keep up to date with potential transfers. You guys know the summer transfer window is coming soon and it is always very lively. The best thing about the One Football app is it is completely free. If you want to download it for yourself, all you have to do is click the link in the description. And we are back with a futsal match day, ladies and gentlemen. Put LDN in the comments right now if you're excited. Oi, so, so just start from these lot. Oh, and I've cleared it. It's a very good start from the other team here. <laughs> Hasn't given me time. Bad. E. Hey. Boys, come on, wake up, wake up. Straight into the action, and as you can see, Coach Ashtan is saying, wake up. And the reason he's saying that, this is unlucky there from TK. I've said this so many times this season, but every match is just up and in levels, up and in importance. This is the biggest match of the season. If we lose, we're done. Good save. Good block on the rebound. Yeah, if we're done, sorry, if we lose this match, we are finished for the whole season. Um, I do believe next match video, I think we're receiving the trophy. Unlucky for me there. Shape up, shape up. Middle, middle, yeah. middle. Jay, middle. Sorry, I'm trying to talk to you guys at the set. You guys know how it goes. I talk, look down, talk to you guys. Look down. I have to say it every week for new viewers that are confused. Um, but yeah. I do believe we're receiving the league trophy next video, hopefully, I think, because we won the East Division, as you guys saw, amazing stuff. And because we won the East Division, that qualifies us for the Nationals, which is what we're playing in right now, which is the quarter final against Portsmouth. I do believe I've explained it as, as best as I can. Quarter final match, the league is done, Nationals is all that's left. And this is our focus right now. We've won the league, beautiful stuff, but this is the focus, the grand final of the Nationals. Good block there, and I've tumbled a little bit. This seems very good. Um, Southampton, the team that beat us a few weeks ago, they always have very close matches with them. So this is a very, very good team. Great ball from TK Amar. Guys, shape up, shape up, shape up. That was a very good ball there from TK, and Amar usually finishes those, to be fair. This guy's beat Felipe down the line. Plays his back post. We're 1-0 down. We are 1-0 down early doors. Felipe's got his hands up. Ah. Uh, Let's do what we usually do. Let's play to our game. One nil down early doors. You do not want to be in that position. We need to equalise ASAP. ASAP. <clears throat> this is going to be a good game, man. TK, good save from their goalkeeper. 
That's been kicked on to me. Amar's good pressure here from Amar. Back to me. I shoot. Good block. TK. Oh, what's going on? And I've just seen it out there. Amar, Amar, Amar. You need to use the line. You need to use the line. Don't pin down. Getting back into the play. Amar has got the ball here. By the way, guys, do not cheat. We do this every game. You guys that are here every single match know. I like to see what your score predictions are. So, sorry, we'll do it after this. I've got the ball running down the line here. It's kicked on to me. I remember on the day I was upset, but that was, in fact, their ball. Well done, referee. Number 23. Oh, sub here. Osama's coming on for Felipe. Early doors, boys and girls. Ladies and gentlemen, we're 2-0 down. If we lose this, our season's done. The season is finished. We do not want to be in this position. Back post ball there that you guys know I like to play. Um, yeah, anyways, as I was saying, put your score prediction right now in the comments. Do not cheat, all right? Put your final score prediction. I bet none of you get it. If you get it, I will like your comment. And I'll also reply to you in the comments. Good feet there from there, number 29, I believe it is. And Mars kicked out him a little bit. Good save there from Badea. But you guys tell me your store predictions, as I said. Amar's done well to get possession back there. TK's played it to me, but it's a bit of a loose ball. But he's done very well to win it back. What's he got here? Played it to me down the wing. I hit his second post. Oh, come, on. come on, Osama! Coach Ashtan is not happy Osama was not at the second post there, boy. It happens though. Sometimes second post balls are so hard to read, man. Um, that's something I need to improve as well, getting to the second post myself. TK, good block there. I, we've, we've retaliated well to their 2-0 though. TK, what a goal! Give me a replay. Boom! Let's go again, let's go again, let's go again. Boy, Osama, use the line, I'm out. Use the line more. That is exactly what we needed. And show some love right now to our captain TK in the comments. What a strike. Good save there from Bader. TK out here. Oh! Oh, wake up! Make up you got to see it's an important game, man. Oh! Get back, shape up, shape up! Yeah, I'm sure you guys can tell. Tell me in the comments if you can. From the intensity of the way we're playing, everyone on the bench, Coach Afkan, you can tell it's a very important game. But we have got a free kick here. They need to hurry up though, or the time's gonna run out. TK, good block from their player. Corner's been taken, but it's gone out. Possession is back with us. I'm back to TK here. What's TK got? Plays out to Osama. Osama the fate shot. Osama's got a very nice fate shot, by the way. But we've been dispossessed. It looks like they're hitting us on the counter attack here number, with number 23. TK's done well. I think Badea's got a fingertip save on that. They take their corner. Good block from Karim. Oh my gosh. I do believe play should be stopped. That has hit him right. You know where. Show some love. Oh, by the way, that gives me a chance to speak about Karim. Karim is finally back, ladies and gentlemen. Show some love right now to Karim in the comments. Very crucial player. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. He's been injured for a while. Finally, he's back. Players like Karim, speaking of which, unlucky there. They're crucial to have back at this stage of the season. Tika to the ball here. Ah, oh, unlucky. Unlucky, unlucky. We do still find ourselves 2-1 down and we need a goal, man. Amar, we... It's, it must be said though, we've started to play a lot better. Osama has been blocked. They're hitting us on the counter attack here. He skipped past TK, relatively easy to be fair, but TK's got the ball back here. What has he got hitting them on the counter attack? TK, oh, it's a goal, what the post? What a goal from TK, a little substitution here. Dom is finally back as well, ladies and gentlemen, coming on for Osama, back from injury. Oh. Well done, well done, great job. Very nice ball there from TK, but yeah. yeah. Um, what was I going to say? Big up to Dom, who's just played it back to me here as well. He is back from injury. Show some love to Dom in the comments. He's an unsung hero on our team, man. Don't get enough love in the comments. To be fair, he hasn't played in a while, so I do understand. But yeah, show some love to Dom in the comments, man. That is our target, man. He's a very, very important player. Oh, right, you can tell that TK is playing with a vengeance this game. He's back. He made a couple mistakes against Southampton last game. If you haven't watched that, go watch it. It's a big, big match. That was the semi-final of the League Cup. Good play here, good block. Great job! Dom, well done, Dom, Dom. Good football. Well done. It's good football. Well, it's good so, whatever. It's good. <laughs> but yeah, as I was saying, you can tell that TK is playing with a vengeance this game. You can tell he, he wants to put in a good performance after those a few, few mistakes last game. Speaking of which, he's seen it out there for our oh, kicking. TK to the ball here, plays it back to Felipe. Felipe out to Dom. 
TK to me, what have I got here? Showing some footwork. So, made him stank a little bit on the feet shot. It feels good to do some skills, man. I haven't done skills in a minute, man. <laughs> Flip it over. Anyways. Go for, the, um, go for the back heel to Felipe there. Back post, but it hasn't come off, but we do get the ball back. Asama is coming back on for Dom. It's the same stuff that happened earlier. Hey! I'm just giving him the elbow. It looks like he's <laughs> putting next to the KSI. Oh my gosh. Oh, of course, that wasn't on purpose. And my editor's cheeky, man. He's... <laughs> Hey, by the way, tell me in the comments what do you think about that? I know a lot of you would have watched the KSI fight. Would have, mm, yeah? Do you guys think the elbow was on purpose? I don't know. I don't think it was on purpose, to be honest. I, I think anyone with half a brain knows it wasn't on purpose, man. But mine there wasn't on purpose, and as you guys saw, I helped him get up. Like, I hope, I hope he's alright. That guy's a very nice guy as well. I spoke to him after the game, I believe. So, yeah, of course it was unintentional, man. I've never, I never, like, snuffed someone like that on, like, on purpose, you know what I mean? Me and TK are gonna go for our free kick routine here. I do believe. Fake shot. TK. I, I, I can't lie, I remember on the day their coach was saying we know what's coming or something like that. So I think they know our free kick routine because that video went crazy, man. You, if you guys saw when we did that and it worked, that video has done crazy numbers, man. Like, honestly, we really appreciate you guys so much, honestly, for all the love and support. So we're trying to win the trophy for you. We've got one already and we should get it soon, but yeah, man, we're trying to. We're trying to get the big boy, the Nationals. Oh! Boys, that cannot happen! That cannot happen! Ash is right, that was way too easy for them to get through us there. Um, they've got uh, the ball in the corner flag here. Be given as a foul, that was quite light to be honest. But number 23, good save from Bads! We're hanging on to the ball too much, we're not passing it properly. Everyone can only take two touch. Stop playing around with the ball. If you turn around with the ball, you're coming out. That's, it's that simple. They literally can't cope with our uh, pace when we're passing it properly. That was a very well needed timeout, man, because honestly, you can see that it's starting to slip a little bit. Their goalkeeper's taken more than four seconds um, there, so it is an indirect free kick. That is the rule. Felipe! Oh, it's hit the post. Up top, communicate to each other who you're picking when you're defending. Unlucky there from that free kick from Felipe. Speaking of which, Felipe's at the ball here, plays it back to TK. TK back to Felipe. Felipe to Amar. Felipe. Oh, what a save! Felipe could have played it to me, to be fair. He could have squared it. And then they've done, they've come with a very good block after. Hey, show some love to their goalkeeper, man. Honestly, that was a big, big save. Felipe with some nice footwork here. Plays it to Amar. Amar to me. I'm waiting for, waiting for some movement. TK. Oh. Quick! Jay, quicker! As you can see, Ash can moaning at me to move it quicker. I'm, I'm done with trying to like explain like how I play and why I do certain things. Like, I just sometimes I slow the game down to be able to like do nutmeg passes or let them legs move a tiny bit or let our players make a run. Like when it works, people. Ah, ah, ah. No, give me a replay. I'll get back to saying what I was saying after. Give me a nutmeg hand right now. Well, when the ball goes out or if they score, give me a nutmeg hand right now. Oh my gosh, man. Uh, you're getting me mad. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> that is disgusting. Oh my gosh. We've got the nutmeg time that you guys come here for, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my days. TK. That's rude, man. That is rude. Rate that nutmeg right now out of 10 in the comments. I need to get back on my nutmeg grind, man. I need to stop being scared that Ashton's going to shout at me, bro. <laughs> hey. <laughs> That was disgusting. And as I was saying earlier, sometimes I slow down the game because I'm waiting for runs, waiting for options. <laughs> like that. Give me a replay. Well, very well done from Karim there. But yeah, as you can see, I slowed the game down because I wanted to do the nutmeg pass through his legs, back posts. When it works, people love it. When it don't, people don't like it. It's just, it's just how it goes, isn't it? It's just how it goes. But it's about where you do it and how, how you balance it throughout the game and doing it in the right areas. For those of you that are like flary players, I know a lot of you are skillful players, flary players that watch this. That's the one thing I would say with Coach Ash. It's all kicking off, TK weren't happy with that. But yeah, that's one thing that Coach Ash has taught me a lot this season, man. Um, it's all about balance. So you flary players, don't do it too much, man. But like, balance it out throughout the game. Do it at the right moments. I'm waffling. 
But yeah, I'd like to sometimes give you guys like advice or whatever. I'm still learning myself, man, but a lot of you send me like DMs on Instagram and whatnot, so yeah, man. That is, that's my thoughts on that. That's a good ball, that is. That's, that was a very good ball. Okay. TK, good ball. Good ball to Dom, but nothing has come from it. We have got the ball back though. I saw my high wide and not very handsome. You, can, you know what's coming. Just like Zayd. It's, it's got to be said. Unlucky there from Karim and Ashtan is showing a clap of appreciation on the bench. Oh, it's so good to have Karim back, man. He adds something different on match days. He's, he's just like, he's just that guy, man. He's just that guy. He gets, he gets you pumped. Very good performance from TK so far. He's played it out to Karim. TK the ball here. Played it to Dom. Dom recycles it back to TK. TK gets a shot. Good save from their goalkeeper. Uh, TK's having a lot of shots this game. They're giving him way too much respect. Way too much respect. Way too much space. Because if you give TK that space, he's going to shoot and he's going to score more time. Uh, some dodgy footwork from their player there. But it's been given as our kicking. I thought that should have been their kicking, to be fair. But TK with another shot and it's another block from their player. The first half is coming to an end, ladies and gentlemen. Can we get one more goal? I do believe... Oh, I do believe it was 3-2 at half time against Southampton as well, so hopefully this game ends differently, but that is half time. When we attack him, when we missing the goal, guys, don't switch up. You can see the game from a completely different perspective to a wingman and for a target man. Okay, so Mark, I'm shouting at you, I'm saying, if I'm travelling with the ball, the first pass isn't on, just push up slightly. Guys, we've been weak with second post today. Oh my gosh. Second post, non-existent today. Guys, we could have had four or five from it. When we've got momentum in the game, the, the, the game tempo changes throughout. When we have momentum, we need to take these chances. Please, I don't want it to come back and bite us. We was 2-0 up at Southampton. Look what happens. We should absolutely dominate them second half. They're not scoring another goal. It's as simple as that. But we need to play to our strengths. We need to play what we're good at. And that's how we're going to win the game. Second pose, keep the ball, keep it moving fast. They can't, they can't keep up with us. Fitness-wise, technical-wise, power, strength, anything. It's not comparable. Right, boys, hands in. Three come jumps. on, let's get really big second half. One, two, three. Ready? That is the biggest half-time team talk of our season. Of That's the biggest half-time team talk in the history of this club. Genuinely. And it's so annoying because the last few games, every game I've said like, oh, this is the hardest game ever, the hardest game so far. Like, it genuinely is. Like, it's, it's just how it is at the moment. Like, we've hit the crunch point of the season. But yeah, as I said earlier, I do believe I might be wrong. You guys tell me in the comments if I'm wrong, but I think it was 3-2 to us against Southampton at half-time. And then they equalised to make it 3-3 and then the game just spiralled out of control. We can't allow that to happen. But TK's made a mistake there. Oh my gosh. I genuinely didn't even time that like on purpose. Like that's just how it happened. Like I was just saying we can't allow that to happen. TK's made a little mistake at the back there and it is 3-3. That's the last thing we needed, an early goal conceded in the second half to boost them up and as you see it's boosted them, this is not looking good boys and girls. Good, oi, good block from TK, I big up Amar on the line there, another unsung hero in this team, attacks, defends, presses, does his job, top scorer. Speaking of scoring, Karim is back on the score sheet and we're clapping on the bench, Karim has back so much just then, that is crazy, hopefully the camera didn't pick that up, but oi, show us a lot to Karim right now in the comments, he's back on the score sheet. And he's back on the lineup. You love to see it. Um, that's what we needed, man. That is exactly what we needed. R2, oi, TK. I said, don't give him too much space, man. Don't give him too much space. That's exactly what we needed. Two goals and quick succession after they equalized. Otherwise, they would have got gassed and, like, yeah, man. Good tap. Oh. Oh, he's got a ball. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, what a fiery start to the second half though man, this is crazy. This is why these are the best match videos on YouTube. Oh! He's just scored the Rabona and he's done a backflip. Oi, fair play to so give me a replay. Rabona goal and backflip celebration. That's crazy, but one thing I gotta say, if you're doing backflip celebrations while you're losing, you have to win the game, bro. You have to now. You have to You have to win now. Nah, I'm just joking, man. Oi, a Rabona goal. Tell me so far, what's your favourite goal of this match so far? I, I have to give it to them. I have to give it to the Rabona goal. Rate that out of 10 in the comments right now. TK has just scored an identical goal to his last one. We didn't show a replay there, but there probably should have been one. But if you didn't see it, go back to it. It's basically the same as his last goal. They're giving him way too much space. 
But that's exactly what we needed, man. We needed to restore the two goal deficit. TK to me, good foot style touch there to take it down the line. Ball on the keeper, and it's my goal for the match. That was a very good goal from myself as well. If I don't say so myself, that was a decent little goal. Ball from TK to me. The first touch that I did there, like, um, I've, I've learned that touch for years, man. It's like a, it's a foot style specific touch. Um, yeah. Osama to me, ah, oh, that would have been. Good mission, well done. That would have been very nice. That would have been very, very, very nice. But yeah, hey, rate my goal out of 10 in the comments. Nice little run down the line, nice little ball roll around the keeper, left foot finish back post. Tell me in the comments right now, rate it out of 10. I am liking every comment. I've done my defensive duties there with my block. And I've, uh, we've got it back here with TK running down the line. He's been dragged there. Uh, he's bought that. Oh, the keeper's just kicked the ball at him. That's poor, man. And as you can see, I didn't like it. So me and the keeper are having words. He's kicked the ball straight at Captain TK. Like, I, I didn't like that on the day, man. So as you see, yeah, we're going back and forth. I'm telling TK here to calm down because I don't want him getting a red card because then if we do win this game, he would miss the semi-final of the Nationals. Speaking of which, speaking of which, actually, no, I don't want to speak too soon. We're playing a very interesting team in the semi-finals if we win. So I don't want to speak too soon. We need to see if we win this game first. I don't want to talk about who we would have played and stuff like that. We need to win this game and then we'll speak about it towards the end of the video if it's necessary. That's very soft there. The number 29 is expected a foul there, but it's very soft. It's soft again, but he's actually gone through the back of me there. That's a foul. You guys know that happens to me every game. TK's been fouled there as well. They're complaining, but he's clipped him. He's clipped him. He has his clearest day. Nothing's been given against me there. Hey! TK! Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry, sorry. <laughs> the game is not You guys see the reaction from Coach Ash if we try and do skills, man. And it, it, it would be a lot worse as well if it was if it was one of us that tried that. Um They've got the ball here, play it back too. They're, I'm saying play, playing about two like I know their names. No offense, but you know. Good save there from Badair. Sorry, I'm, I'm struggling a little bit on this commentary, man. It's early in the morning. I'm actually doing this before going to film. I haven't even eaten yet, so I'm starting to keep up a tiny bit. That was a nice tackle from me there, and another nice bit of play there from me with a flick to Felipe. Nez! Oi! I do believe. We're celebrating with Nez right there. You see what it means to us. I do believe that is Nez's first goal for the club. And what a game to get it in. What a game to get it in, man. Nez turns up to training, turns up to matches, gives it his all, all the time. So please, guys, show some love to Nez in the comments below. Please. Oh! I screwed it to TK and that was very unlucky off the post. But yeah, guys, please show some love to Nez in the comments right now. He deserves it, man. He deserves it. You guys showed a lot of love to Coach Doug last time in the comments as well. Please show some love to Coach Doug again in the comments. These are all crucial people for this club, man. Crucial, crucial people. Speaking of crucial, that's a crucial goal for them. They've stored that free kick and their bicycle kick. Never going in. Time out. Stop treating the game as if it's finished. Let's play the game that we were playing when we started. They're struggling. They made a mistake that they're trying to pressure us. The game is not finished. They've got 10 minutes, man. The game is not over. Let's take it serious. Ash is sticking on us a little bit there in the, in the timeout, and it is very much needed, man. We can't... You guys know two, three... Hard. I'm going to try that again after drinking some water, because I've just... I can't count, apparently. Let's try that again. Two, three goals in futsal is nothing. That can be stored in 30 seconds. So like, this lead is not enough, man. We need another goal. That's a very good ball there. Asama's miss kicked it though. But that's a dodgy touch from their player and I do believe that has gone out for our ball. Karim's got the ball here. What has he got? Plays to Asama. Good touch from Asama. And that has gone out for a corner ball. Karim, oh, what a save. What a save from their goalkeeper, man. It's got to be said. I don't like how he kicked the ball at TK earlier when he was on the floor, but that's a good save, man. Gotta give credit when credit is due, you know what I mean? Amar plays a plays the ball back here to Osama. Good save from their goalkeeper. Asa, uh, Amar's got the ball here to Osama. Oh, very cultured finish from Osama. Show some love to Osama right now in the comments. 
what a sign in the summer has been, man. I, guys, I know you guys love Asama. I see your comments. Show some love to him right now in the comments, man. That was a very nice finish. You ain't got to slap your foot through it, like, on a, on a mad one. Just... Just cultured finish into the bottom corner. That's a crucial goal, man. That's a four-goal deficit now. Good tackle from Asama. And Lamar has done his defensive duties. Very nice footwork. And we, oh, it's beautiful play. It's beautiful play. Good save from Kirim. Shot there. Their goalkeeper, their goalkeeper's come up. He shoots. That would have been mental if he scored that, you know. And their goalkeeper's being a bit of a donut again. He's just not giving us the ball. Yeah, their goalkeeper's an interesting character, man. Why are you on the pitch? Their goalkeeper has been given a yellow card for that well done referee. To be fair, to be fair, I understand what their goalkeeper was doing. Obviously, he's out of his goal. This guy's just gone down like someone shot him. I, I don't actually know what's happened there. He's been on the floor quite a bit, to be fair, this game, the number 29. But he's a skillful player, so I understand. Me, of all player, understands getting hurt and being on the floor for a lot of the game. <laughs> um, that though is one thing I don't understand. I don't understand what he just done there to be honest. Um, but yeah, I was, try I was trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. Um, but yeah, um, yeah. Kirim's got the ball here, plays it to Nez. Uh, Nez has lost the ball there. Portson for hitting us on the counter attack. Ne Nez has done amazingly well to get the ball back, man. That's what I mean about Nez, he's an unsung hero, man. If he loses the ball, he does everything he can to try to get it back. So show some love to Nez in the comments, man. Speaking of which, Nez plays a nice one too here with Karim. Tries to back post ball to Osama. Then number 29 is going for a flip flap in his own box. Very risky, but it looks like he's got away with it. Ports with, on, uh, with possession here. Nice step over there. But it's good defending. Nice right, back and forth here. He's been pulled back. Well done, referee. TK with the ball here. Oh, my days, man. Struggling with this commentary, guys. I'll be honest with you guys. A lot's going on. Need some food in my system. Uh, then number 29 is at the ball here. Good save from Bader. Good save from Bader. We got away with that there. That easily could have resulted in a goal. Nez is at the ball here. What has he got? That has been intercepted. Ports. Ah, oh, yes, TK. TK is getting in the way of it. Their players kicked it at him. Obviously, for you guys that don't know, in futsal, you have to be. I think it's five, five meters or five yards. Don't test my knowledge, please. TK has been given a yellow card for that, but yeah, you've got to be either five yards or five meters away from, from kickings. Their goalkeeper, their goalkeeper's feeling themselves. He's coming out for a lot of shots, man. Unlucky there from their goalkeeper. I've come on here for Osama. That's going to be given, yeah. <laughs> TK's not happy yet, but they took way, way too long there with the ball. It was longer than four seconds, and yeah, nothing's come from it though. Nice ball from me here to Nez. Nez to Karim with a very nice pass, but it has been intercepted by their goalkeeper. Amar, that's soft. Uh, that's very soft. They take their free kick early though. Good save there from Bader. TK with the ball here. Very nice ball, but it's been intercepted. Felipe. Pabu! It's been given. That's a red. That's the second yellow. Do not ask me why their goalkeeper is still on the pitch. Just don't ask me why their goalkeeper is still on the pitch. He got, as you guys know, that's his second yellow. And I think the referee just hasn't realised. I've gone for a toe poke there. They're, the referee just hasn't realised and their goalkeeper is still on the pitch. It should be a red card. Hopefully it doesn't like mean anything. We've got one minute left. That's a little nutmeg there, I believe, on TK. Good tackle from me. Oy, oy, I've been slide tackling this game, man. And now I'm hit. Oh, just wide. I should have shot earlier. But yeah, their goalkeeper should have got retarded, man. But I do believe if we get past this attack. I do believe, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, that's a goal. But that is full time. And semi-finals are next. And the team we're playing in the semi-finals of the Nationals is the team that beat us last week. Southampton. I'll see you guys there. Thank you, bro. Yeah!